Hey guys, what's up? By Sactatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next Q&A video. And once again, don't drop your questions on this video. Drop them uh, when I let you guys know a Q&A is coming up. That way we have the most recent relevant questions uh, that you guys want answered. And you can get them answered within a few days. Uh, up to a week, I guess, for this video. Uh, but you can get them answered much uh, more quicker than if you drop a question on this video because it will take probably another month, month or two before I, I do another Q&A video. Um, so that being said, let's get right into the questions. Um, thank you guys for all the interesting stuff that you guys asked. Um, definitely makes for a good video. And let me know if you want me to continue this series. I think it's a good thing to occasionally do. Um, most YouTubers do it, and I think it's uh, a lot of viewers do like it. So, um, I'm going to be clicking around a little bit, so hopefully you don't hear that too much. Uh, but the first question comes from B. Hobbs. What's your favorite vacation you have gone on? Um, and I didn't even prepare answers or anything for this. I'm just going to be kind of thinking of it on the spot. But probably, I mean, I went to Hawaii, but I was really young when that happened. Um, so I don't remember it that much. Uh, I think Sun River uh, in Oregon was probably one of the best. So, uh, and also there was a kind of a, we went to, I think, Ohio once, and they had kind of a safari type thing where you drive around and they had different, like, buffalo and stuff roaming around that come up to your car, so that was cool, too. Um, but th those two have probably been my favorite. Um, moving on, the next one is from Tra uh, Carl's Sentis. What's the best device to play Class of Clans, phone or tablet? I play on the phone, but I hate the way that if you bring too many different types of troops, you have to scroll to, to reach the ends, considering getting a 7-inch or 9-inch tablet just for that. Good question, and it's definitely something to, you know, th think about, research, ask people about, because uh, it's, you know, those are expensive tablets are. But um, I have a iPad third generation, which is pretty old now. It doesn't work that well. And actually, in my most recent live attack, which uh, is being uploaded right now, you guys probably have already have, have already seen that by the time you see this video. Uh, I recorded on my iPhone because my iPad, it's been uh, rendering or not rendering. It's been uh, lagging a lot. So I think that in, um, a tablet's a good way to go. But it's not a requirement. The phone works fine. As far as scrolling from side to side, that's a problem on the tablet and the iPhone or the Galaxy or whatever you have. It's a problem for both devices. Just because the device is bigger doesn't mean all the troops are visible. You still have to scroll from end to end. They're just bigger troop icons, but the scrolling problem is still there. It would be nice if they just, because it's a bigger screen, that the uh, the, the game knew that and it could make all your troops appear on one bar, but it, it doesn't work that way. So you have to scroll either way. Um, I would recommend getting a tablet if that's something that you want to invest in. Obviously, don't just get it for Clash of Clans. There should be another reason you're getting a tablet. Not worth dropping, you know, hundreds of dollars just on Clash of Clans to improve your attacks a little bit. Um, but, you know, it, I'm not going to tell you what to do, your choice. Uh, but that's just kind of my feedback. Not that much better if you have a big iPhone. But if you have kind of a small, like, iPhone 4 type thing, uh, that could be a bit of an issue. I have an iPhone 6, which is pretty big. So maybe. I'm living in a, a reality that a lot of people don't have. I don't know. It depends on your phone. depends on uh, if you want the iPad or the or whatever the tablet is, if you want that for other things as well. could be a good investment. All right, moving on. Uh, Caleb Farrell, Q&A. Will you continue the series of where you go to other clans and showcase attacks? By the way, lo uh, love your vids. Well, I think I want to, that was one of the lowest rated series when I did the poll for you guys. Um, that was that in the video reviewer series were the two lowest. And I think that, because ironically it was one of the series that was voted in, because I let you guys vote on a new series and that was the one that got the most votes that you guys wanted to see. So it's kind of a, a weird situation. I think a lot of people voted for it hoping to have their clan shown on the channel. And that's just not a reality when I have 100 plus applications. I can only select a few clans, at most one per week. It is a little bit of a logistical issue to try to figure out the clan I want to do, to contact them, to have them get back to me, and to go about asking questions, finding a time to come over, record attacks and stuff like that. It is a, you know, a little more work. I'm willing to do it. I just don't think people 
really want to see it that much. And it's cool for the people who has who have their clan being shown, but for everyone else, it was one of the lower rated uh, series. So I'll probably do another survey again soon, and I'll give you guys the option of voting that back. But for now, that's going to kind of be a dormant, uh, put on hold series. I don't think I'll do one in the uh, in the very near future. But I'll, I'll I'll give you guys the option to vote for it again, probably. Um, I'm probably going to have some cool winter stuff, including um, a survey for the holidays. I'm going to have some cool stuff going on. So uh, next question is Clash of Clans with Cheese. Uh, for the Q&A, do poison spells stack? Good question, and I probably should have researched this. You can probably just look it up on Clash of Clans Wiki. Just you know, type in poison spell. should be right there for you. Uh, my answer from what I've heard is that they kind of stack. It's not like it's double the effect if you drop two poisons right on top of each other. I think the damage amps up quicker. But if you're if troops are running towards your your queen, for example, on a queen walk, and you have room to drop the poison separate, I would drop one farther out and one uh, closer to your queen and kind of have them run through both of them separately. I think that would be the best bet. But if if it's you know if you don't have the room. Go ahead and drop both the poisons because I think they do stack to a certain extent. But definitely look that up on the Clash of Clans wiki. I don't think uh, I wouldn't take my word for it, um, and I probably should know that. But whatever. Um, Malinbur, Malay, Malinbur. Uh, what are your thoughts on a seeking air mine next to the troll Tesla? My Town Hall Nine base has a troll Tesla, but the seeking air mine next to it has come in handy wants to take out a balloon swap on the second attack and it's also taken out a healer for a queen walk most of the time it goes unactivated and i wonder what your input is okay uh it is a very sneaky thing to do because just to explain what he's talking about if you guys are a little confused uh people at town hall 9 often use troll teslas which i do encourage i think they make sense at town hall 9 and town hall 10 uh sometimes but um, beyond having just the troll Tesla, sometimes people put a seeking air mine next to the troll Tesla. So assuming your base survives the first attack, on the second attack, when someone drops a balloon to do the balloon trade, just a you know one for one trade balloon on Tesla, which typically works, the seeking air mine pops up and takes out the balloon before it can take out the Tesla. So they waste a balloon. I don't think that's a good idea to do, and this is my reasoning behind it. First of all, just defending against one attack is is good at Town Hall 9. If you defend one attack, you've basically done your job because if everyone defends one attack, uh, then they've w used all their Town Hall 9 attacks and some people will defend two or three, which will make them have to use dips. So I think one attack is is pretty good. As long as you're not being fresh threed, uh, you're pretty good. So the reason I say that is because by putting a Seeking Air Mine, you're planning for the second attack for defending that, when I think you should put all your energy in, uh, into de defending the first attack. Let's say, for example, someone uses a air composition. You're not going to have that Seeking Air Mine inside the base to help you pop Lava Hounds. Instead, it'll be out by the Troll Tesla, and it won't do a whole lot of good. I mean, it might take out some balloons that wander over there towards the end of the attack. But by then, um, it's either kind of a make or break with the Lava Hounds inside the base. You're better off having the Seeking Air Mine inside the base. So, yes, it can put them down five troop space when on the second attack. But even still, you know, they could be using an air attack and then great, they get one of your Seeking Air Mines out of the way. Uh, they don't have to worry about it. They could be using an air attack on the second attack. So I don't think it's a good idea to do it is kind of a cool thing to be able to be like, yep, gotcha, uh, when it takes out their their uh, their balloon. And it is very rewarding when it does work. But in my opinion, it's not worth it trying to plan ahead for defending the second attack. Worry about doing everything you can to defend the first attack um, at Town Hall 9. All right, last attack, or last, not, last question. Christopher Chang, Q&A, what changes can slash should be made to Town Hall 11 versus Town Hall 11 attacks uh, to be better balanced? Uh, well, it's a difficult question because we want to see at Town Hall 11, I think Town Hall 11s and pretty much everyone in the game wants to see that three-star viability for taking out a Town Hall 11. But the, the problem is, well, do you super buff Town Hall 11 offense in which case a dip attack is a certain three-star. 
because should it the question is should it be like town hall 10 is in relation to town hall 9 because a town hall 10 dip attack on a town hall 9 with his, with a few exceptions is almost a guaranteed three star town hall 10 offense is way uh, overpowered compared to town hall 9 offense and compared to the defensive levels between the two town halls there's a big gap between them but at Town Hall 11, we're not seeing as big of a gap. A Town Hall 11 still has a good shot at 3 starring a Town Hall 10 on a dip, but it's still going to be a competitive uh, attack. It's still going to be maybe a 50-50, maybe a little better uh, as far as the 3-star chance goes. So the question is, do we want to have Town Hall 11s become their own Town Hall level at the, the point where they can 3-star a Town Hall 11 uh, you know, some, some of the time? And I think it's a little bit tricky because if that's the case, then easily all the Town Hall 10s could be three-starred by Town Hall 11 dip attacks at that point in CWL Wars and stuff like that where you have five, six Town Hall 11s. They would be able to easily use their attacks to three-star all the Town Hall 10s. And then you'd see maybe uh, one Town Hall 11 three-star. Probably not, though. The question would be, would you do that? Or would you have your Town Hall 11s try for three-star attempts on the Town Hall 11s, so that goes straight across. And I don't think you'd see that. So my point, and this has been kind of a confusing, I'm, I'm talking through this for the first time, so I get it's confusing, but to summarize, my point is that because Town Hall 10s can't consistently, and it's very difficult to three-star ta other Town Hall 10s, the Town Hall 11 attacks, no matter how good they are are going to be used as dip attacks because those are the certain three stars even if town hall 11 attacks or uh, three stars against other town hall 11s become somewhat viable it's still not going to be as high percentage as, as dipping down and three starring a town hall 10 because of that i'd say most of the town hall 11 attacks would still be used as dips you would see a few try to go straight across possibly on some of the lower town hall 11s but for the most part, the system wouldn't change. The same thing goes for a Town Hall 10, Town Hall 9 relationship. Let's say Town Hall 9s were much more difficult to 3-star. You'd see a lot more Town Hall 10s dipping down and a lot more Town Hall 9s going up and 2-starring the Town Hall 10s. It's just because Town Hall 9 is you know, relatively easy to medium difficulty to 3-star. Uh, a Town Hall 9 going straight across, that the Town Hall 10s have the opportunity to not have to worry about dipping down. But the dips are always going to be the priority when it's difficult for the Town Hall level below to take care of the bases on their own. So I don't think it's as easy as some people say to balance Town Hall 11. It's not a matter of viability. It's a matter of what is the best option for a clan in a clan war. And maybe if you get clans that have all Town Hall 11s, great. Then they can start doing Town Hall 11 attacks. But in a mixed Town Hall 9, Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11 clan, which is common, which is what we see in CWL and other kind of standard high-level war play, we're seeing dip attacks. And I think we would continue to see those uh, even if Town Hall 11 three stars were a little more feasible. So that's just kind of my thoughts. I think that, you know, it's worth considering, but unless Town Hall 10 gets a, a buff for offense, so it's easier for Town Hall 10s to go th straight across and three star, unless that's the case, I think no matter what, Town Hall 11s are going to kind of be chained to dip attacks to a certain extent. But I'd still like to see Supercell try to mess around and see if they can get some kind of uh, three stars going on at Town Hall 11. Would be cool to see. Um, but anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys liked the questions and the answers I had. Did my best to kind of uh, answer them and give my thoughts. Was the first time I pretty much looked at these besides uh, a few hours ago when I selected them. So just kind of my raw thoughts and opinions on those things. And uh, that'll do it for this video. Hope you guys liked it. And let me know what you think in the comments. Hold your questions until I tell you guys I'm doing a Q&A. Don't drop them on this video. See you guys in the next video though. By Sectatron out.